Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I am doing a video about a pen, not about a dog, but the dog is a butt and he doesn't want to stop. Anyway, talking about the Sailor Curizer. Finally, I've shown this like in journaling videos a lot, um, but I didn't do a review on it yet. But now it is time to look at this pen up close and to tell you what I like about it because oh, this pen is so pretty. I love it so much. Fitz, say bye, say bye. Okay, let's switch a shot. All right, here we have the Sailor Curazur up close and personal. Uh, and this is a Sailor from the cocktail series and it is actually still available even though it's a limited edition. You can get this for around $270. I did not buy it at $270. I thought it was a little too expensive. Of course, for a sailor uh, with a nib like this and that looks like this, I wouldn't say it's actually too expensive, but it was just not in my budget at that point. This pen has a 21 karat gold nib and it is one of the regular sized Pro Gears. So it's a Sailor Pro Gear Curizer from the Cocktail Series. I got it from Virtual Pen uh, Show, which is on Instagram, and actually Gourmet Pens is the one selling it. She's uh, someone on YouTube. Most of you will probably know her. Um, her stuff is really cool, and she ha actually had two for sale. I think the other one must have sold by now. If not, you can find it on a Virtual Pen Show. Anyway, Curizer. Fell in love with the colorway a long time ago. It has this uh, lighter blue tealish cap with a green cap end and golden cap band and clip. And then the barrel is a darker blue with shimmer in it. Funny thing is, when I bought this one, I didn't actually know there was shimmer in the barrel. So I bought it without knowing that. So I, I just fell in love with the colors. So I love that like lime green top with a lighter, slightly lighter cap, see-through, and then the darker barrel. I just fell in love with that. There's actually beautiful sparkles right there. And when I saw this in person, in real life, for the first time, I absolutely fell even more in love with it. So yeah, great, great looking pen. And I love sailors, you guys know that. I love the flat top design, um, I love their nibs. They're not always completely smooth, but they are always very nice. Um, when I say not completely smooth, I mean that there is often some type of feedback. I like feedback. It is, I wouldn't say it's an acquired taste, but not everyone likes that. Some people are in fountain pen uh, hobbies for the super smooth stuff. I like the feedback. Anyway, here's the 21K nib. It's a dual tone nib, so it has silver inlay and gold on there. And yeah, it is an all round lovely nib um, and lovely pen. Decent sized pen. Bigger than the Pro Gear Slim, of course, um, and no need to post this one. I would say don't post this one. You can if you want to. I'll show you for uh, completeness sake, but it does become a little top heavy, um, and I think it is much too long like this. If you're afraid of losing the cap, you can definitely, definitely post this, but I wouldn't do it. I think it's perfectly balanced the way it is. This pen is a light pen, not very heavy, um, and I think if you have medium big hands, you're fine to use this, but if you have uh, smaller hands, you're also fine to use this. If you do have smaller hands, you might just be just as happy with the Pro Gear Slim, which is cheaper, um, has cool limited editions too. Uh, it's just smaller, but yeah, it is cheaper. So uh, my last Pro Gear Slim I bought for 130 I paid $225 for this one, and then it retails new at $270-ish. Um, that is not MSRP, that is the sort of discount price that I found online. Anyways, let's do a writing sample with this. This is my first medium sailor nib, and I must say, it functions quite the same as the medium fine. The medium fine is a nib that often comes standard on uh, sailor pens, like some uh, Progress Slims. I uh, only have the medium fine nib. Um, this is the medium nib. I have an ink in here that is 
not super wet, but it still works fine. I had it on cap for a little bit. I hope it starts up fine. Let's go for it, okay? Okay, Sailor Pro Gear. Let me move that a little bit so it's in focus. Cure Azure. And this is the medium nib. As you can see, it's not a very broad medium nib, um, which is fine by me. It has the slightest feedback, this one. It's not very noticeable. Slight feedback. I was not great at writing that. And I'm writing at a weird angle, so <laughs> that's probably why. The ink is Blackstone and then Sydney Harbor Blue. Which is blue. It's a beautiful ink. Um, it sheens really nicely. I don't know if that's visible. It might be visible here. Um, I don't think it's the best match for this pen. So here we have the Curazur. A pen, I, I, I've fallen in love with this pen. I love this pen. So, I, Sailor, Sailor might be my favorite band right now. Um, like, the Zoom nib on my Nebula is my favorite nib, I think, ever. It is so good. It is such a lovely nib to write with, and then this is so beautiful. And then I have the Angel's Delight, also from the Cocktail Serial series, also beautiful. I just did a video about the Sailor the Cool again. I did like a re-review. That pen is so good for the money. So yeah, I'm <laughs> becoming like a fangirl of Sailor. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed finally seeing this pen up close and personal with its beautiful, beautiful sparklies and the clear cap and the green on top. Uh, I've enjoyed filming this. Um, anyway, see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.